Hey there, welcome to another episode of the Effective YouTube channel. Today we're going to take a look at Bento, a brand new productivity app that helps you focus on what's most important. Let's dive into Bento and take a look. Now keep in mind before we get to the application that this is an iPhone only application, but there are plans to release it for Android in the future. There's also the Bento methodology, but we'll cover that more in depth in another video. For now, let's dive right into the Bento application. All right, so this is Bento. Bento is built around the idea of a Bento box, which is a kind of lunch box that's segmented into different compartments. Some are larger, some are smaller. The idea behind Bento is that you compartmentalize your tasks in the day. You have a large task, a medium task, and a small task. You can have more than one bento during the day, or if you really want to niche down and focus on just the most important work, you can just do one. This is the introduction screen that you get when you first launch bento, and this is kind of a tutorial. So you can see here it says packing your bento. Limit yourself to three tasks per box and sort them into large, medium, and small compartments. Then you can choose a workflow, and this is something that I think is really interesting. There are a couple of different ideas, like you can start with a small task and kind of ease your way up into large ones, or you can eat the frog and begin with your most intensive task through that bento. You can change this at any time, which we'll see throughout the application here, but I think this is a really interesting approach. Then there is the ability to focus on a specific task at one time. You can use timers to time yourself so that you are limiting yourself to get the most effective work done in a specific time block. I think this is an interesting feature in the application, though I haven't personally used it because I'm not super big on timers, but some people when a timer is running, it helps them to focus because there's a defined end goal. And if you're one of those people, I definitely recommend using the timers features in the application here. As I mentioned before, Bento is not only an application, but it's a methodology. You can segment your sections of work throughout the day into threes, one small, medium, and large task. But what's cool about this methodology is that you don't need to use this application. You can use an application like Todoist or Trello or whatever productivity tool you're using to keep yourself on track to implement the Bento method. It's really just a way to plan your day. Let's get into the application so we can take a look. This is the home screen of Bento, and you can see that you have two buttons here, Create New Bento and Use Template. Creating a new Bento is pretty easy. You just tap on it, and then you can apply a workflow right at the beginning. Eat the Frog, which begins you with a large task, moves you into a smaller one, and then moves you into the smallest one. Climb the Summit, which kind of starts you at the medium level and then moves you to a bigger level and then eases you down to the small one. And then a Slow Burn, which is you start small and then move up in varying sizes from there. We're going to choose Eat That Frog for today. Now, what's nice about Bento is that it's very focused. This is literally the application. You can add more than one Bento. So say if you have a routine that you want to do in the morning, you can have a Bento for that, for those three tasks. Then if you have your deep work time in the morning after that, then you can have your tasks set aside for that time. You can add even more Bentos from there. For today, I'm just going to make this focused on the YouTube video. So I'm going to say the large task is to record, which I'm doing right now. So this is nice because there is a level of customizability with this. As you see here, you can enter the name of the task, set a time for your task. So you can go anywhere from 120 minutes all the way down to five minutes. We're just going to keep this one at 90 minutes for today. And then you can assign the status in the workflow. This is the large task, a medium task, or a small task. This is by and, by and large the largest task that I'm going to do today in this process. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to click off of that. And then I can add a median task uh, such as edit. And then, oh, that did not save when I did that. and then uh, ready for publishing. So now you can see I have my bento created, but if you swipe over, you can also create another bento or you can use some of the templates. You have, there's templates for a shutdown routine, for admin workflows, for journaling if you wanna spend 
15 minutes journaling, this is pretty handy. If you have another mor a morning routine that you want to do, or if you even just want to take a break from work with some structure in it, there's a lot of flexibility in this application. But the one thing that I love about it is the fact that it is designed around doing less. Most productivity applications want you to put as much stuff as you possibly can into it. But if you've hung around this YouTube channel at all, you know that I am not a fan of just doing more and trying to be as efficient as possible to crank as many to-dos out. It's just not healthy for the majority of us to live a life like that. There are seasons of life where that's okay, but generally that is not a, an approach that will lead to healthy outcomes if it's sustained over the long term. In fact, it can lead towards burnout. And so having this application designed where it's literally you have this bento box here where you have it limited to three tasks for a section of your day, I think it's a fantastic way to limit your focus. Now, whether you're using this application or the bento method in another application, it doesn't really matter. But the point is to be thoughtful about the work that you're doing and focusing on the core essentials of it, the things that move the needle forward. And anything beyond that is just kind of icing on the cake for the day. Last thing I want to take a look at here are the settings. So you can see there are some fun things. You can change themes. I'm going to choose this one here. You can see if we pop out of here, you can see it changes the nice. The illustrations in this are just gorgeous. You can have light mode or dark mode, haptics, audio, and then of course at the bottom, there are some links to the community uh, aspects of this application. There's a Twitter, there's a Discord, um, email, and also a YouTube channel. The book button in the upper left corner takes you to the guidance. So you can kind of get a little bit more in depth on the bento method. Again, we'll get into that in another video on the channel here. That's really it for the bento application. It's again, very simple, but simple on purpose because it's designed to help you focus on the things that are most important for you to do. It's not a to-do list application. It's really a planning assistant for different parts of your day. Again, we'll be doing a full walkthrough of the bento method in another video but I wanted to give you this little taste of Bento because the application just launched. Now, if you are interested in checking out the Bento application, there is a link in the description below. Thanks for watching another episode of the Effective YouTube channel. We'll catch you in the next one and stay effective in the meantime.